Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today is a little extra special because Michigan just won the national championship. Friends, we're going to make a national championship trophy in Tinkercad, so let's get cracking. Friends, as you can see, I've got the design started. Let me show you how to make your own. Of course, step one is to bring out a cylinder. I am going to make the sides totally round. I'm going to make it black just like the real one. Don't forget, if you want really, really black, you do need to go custom and drag it to that edge. I'm going to shift stretch mine, and I'm going to pick the number 30. You can fiddle with whatever numbers you want. And then I want to cut off this front edge. We're going to do that real quickly. Just bring out a whole box, stretch it as far as you want, lift it up. And when you've got it the way you want, I'm going to use the arrows to move it back one. You can select them both and do control G to group. Right there is the start of your base. Adjust it till you're happy. I don't know if you can spot what that piece is, but I'm going to share it with you real quick. It's a cone. We're going to cruise the cone out on top here. I'm going to make the bottom radius 6, so you'll see it gets close to that. And I'm going to make the top radius 12. That way it spreads out. I'm going to take that height and I'm going to make it 100. And then, of course, I want to make the sides all the way smooth. So friends, watch this. We're stretching it back, which elongates it on that axis. And then we're simply going to bring out a cube. Let's make it a lot larger by doing a shift stretch. So notice I'm going way out into the 70s. And then we're going to rotate it 30 degrees. So there's my negative 30. You can figure out which way it is on your work plane. And then we can simply lift it up into place so that it is ready to slice I need to raise it a little bit higher, but I need to zoom out. Don't forget you can do control up or control shift up to get it so that it's cutting the way you want. If you look down here, you'll notice I'm missing. We're going to fix that by just doing control down and nudging it out a few clicks. Bingo, you have got the main shape. Select those two and do control G to group it. Control D, shift nudge to move it across. Now that we got that, friends, we need to hollow this out. Do Control D again. Take your second one and make it a hole. Use Shift Squeeze to shrink it down. Notice I went down to 95. And then I'm going to just stretch it up. So it's going to cut out that shape right there. Now we do want to put little grooves in here later, so I'm going to make this a tiny bit smaller. I'm going to Shift Squeeze this down even more. I'm going to stretch it a little longer. And then I'm going to hit W for work plane and do D to drop so that I'm sure it hits the bottom. I think that's going to give us the awesome sides we want. If you wanted your sides a little different, you can just keep playing with this as you stretch it to get the exact shape you want. Finally, when you're done, do control G to group those two. Bingo. That is hollowed out. Absolutely awesome. Now we need to cut it thin. I'm going to make this two millimeters wide. Then if we look at it closely, we need to stretch it back further. I want to make sure it goes all the way past. If you use the black handle, it is easier than the white handles because it only goes one direction at a time. And then, of course, we need to stretch it way up or just type a crazy number like 150. Select those two, do L for a line, make the purple one the boss, and finally group it with Control G or the button. That is the gold part of our project. If you want that groove wider, watch this. Double click. If we do Alt Shift, it goes around the middle. So we can make it spread out from the middle by just doing Alt Shift. Click somewhere else to make it permanent. And you've just customized your trophy that quick. This needs to be gold. So let's go over to the goldest color we can find. And then if you go to Custom, you can tweak and adjust it to find the exact gold that you want. Now this is going to be the gray part in the middle, so let's make it gray. Let's do L for a line to align all of those. Make the black one the boss and center. Let's do Alt Shift to shrink it a little bit so that way we're sure it's inside. If we zoom in here, you can see I do have a gap, which is what I want. Now if we do D to drop, it drops to that work plane. Remember, if you didn't have the work plane, you can just do Control-Z and put it down. And now we can stretch this up to the height we want it. 
If it gets a little wider, just do another Alt Shift to squeeze it. Once again, we've still got that work plane, so we can do D to drop. And you can see you have almost instantly built your own awesome national championship trophy. You can tweak and adjust that if you want. Let's do a quick fine tune. I'm going to just take this whole thing and stretch it a little wider so it looks a little more football like. Once again, L for a line. Black one's the boss. Center. That already was centered. Let's add the laces. Just bring out the cube. Cruise it to that shape. Shift squeeze it to get the lace style you want. Now I'm using the black handle. Once I've got this exactly the way I want, I'm going to align it. L for align. Pick that middle. There's my center. I need to push this down in, so I'm going to put the work plane on that face, and I'm going to do control down to push it in. Click somewhere else to cancel that and do control D, and now I can nudge it down the arrows until there's a gap, and if I don't touch anything else, I can do control D and control D, and we've just got our lace shape. Now, I want to make these black after I cut them in, so real quickly, I'm going to hide all those parts, select these, do control G, and control D to duplicate. I'm going to shift nudge to move those out of the way, and I'm going to make them black. Once again, I do want to make them the custom black, so I click out here and slide that down. Now we can do show all, and I can grab this center chunk, and I want to do control G to cut those in. Now I can do that shift click to move these over, and if I set my nudge to something less, so I'm going to go 0.25. I can push them all the way through, but I can indent them a little bit. I want to do it with this button, though, instead of the move command. How cool is that? One cool side note, I looked up why it has four laces. It is because the four teams that were in the championship. Makes me wonder if next year there's going to be 12 laces. Let's see if we can cut these grooves in super quick. We are going to find a shape called the new banana. So type new. When you find it, bring it out and cruise it right on that wall. Spin it so that it's sideways. And let's check and see if we had the curvature right. Yeah, it's just got to go the other way. And now I'm going to make it super skinny. And let's get it so that it actually fits. How about that? Of course, we do need to make it a hole. Make sure that nudge is set low, like 0.1. Squish it. See if I can bend it just a little more. And when you're happy, nudge. I'm going to sink it in. You can see how that's going to cut. I'm going to tweak the alignment just a tiny bit and do Control D, Shift Nudge to get it to the other side, and of course, use the flip tool. How slick is that? Let's make it perfect by doing Shift Select, Control G to group, Shift Select on the gold, and of course, do one final align, make the gold the boss. We've got to zoom out a long ways to find it on that plane. And let's do a final group to see how our trophy looks. I think that is pretty spectacular. If you thought it was too deep, of course, you can double click and just raise it up a tiny bit. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground. Remember, W is the shortcut for work plane. And then the final step is to add your words. Of course, you can use text. I love SVGs, though. Check out this SVG. Of course, I have got a Michigan SVG. If you're looking for a tutorial of how to do this, it'll be in the properties of this video. Do make it small. Right now, it's huge. I only want it to be about 25 millimeters across. And choose Import. It may hide under your object. Be aware of that. Now, I want to take this little fellow and watch it. We're going to cruise, grab the dot, and snap it right where we want. Of course, I need a Michigan yellow. Let's go back to presets and use this one. I'm going to do shift squeeze to shrink it so it's where I want. 
And then here's where it gets really fun, friends. If I do Control D to duplicate, I can switch to the outer line. I can make the second one Michigan blue. And then under those settings, instead of size five, I'm going to make it one, bump up the quality, and we have got an epic Michigan logo. Of course, if we put the work plane on the shape, we can push them in so they're whichever format we want, whether you've got it sunk in, poking out, anything that you think is cool for your awesome replica of the championship trophy. As you can see, friends, I added some final text. I'm going to put the work plane down on the ground. Let's do one last align, L for align. And of course, with this being the boss, we want it all in the center. And there you have it, friends, a wicked cool national championship trophy. Have fun with it. Make yours more epic. There's so much you can do to play with this. Of course, if you want to show the world, don't forget these steps. My first step before sharing is to change the settings. I think an appropriate background color would be khaki this time. I do love shutting off the background. Bingo. I think that is a fun choice. The next step, of course, is to return to the Tinkercad dashboard. Click on your design. Choose its properties. Of course, give it a quality name. If it's one of my designs, you'll always see tutorial coming soon until I get it posted. Don't forget you can use this cool little search to see all of the new things that have been shared with me. Also, there will be information about how you can reach me. Finally, add some tags. Once again, I will remind you, if you ever tag anything with HLMT23, I search that tag every day. And of course, when I see your design, I will give you a reaction. Finally, make your design public. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my design, I would rather have you come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, save changes. Bingo. That is what they look like when they're shared. Watch this if we zip back to the gallery. Of course, the first thing you see are all the awesome staff picks. Check out this fantastic design by Alfrey Hawk. As you can see, already gave it a reaction, but it never hurts to give it another one. Such a cool creation. What I want to show you though, friends, is if you shut off staff picks, you can click on this button to see all the amazing designs that have been created lately. Check it out. There are so many in the 60 seconds since I hit that button, it is already four rows down. That is nuts. Of course, friends, if you see something that you think is epic, make sure you click on it and give it a reaction. Check out this fun flying skeleton. That is absolutely awesome. Also, we have a zombie, and this is actually kind of sad. This was made by another user for me to look at it, and this user actually copied it and bragged that they actually made it. That is really unfortunate. Instead of keep going, I'm not going to give them any reactions at all. Finally, let's click on the championship trophy. Don't forget, friends, these reactions are always appreciated. The tutorial will be here soon. And then I do want to highlight, if you ever click on a user's name, you'll instantly be able to see all of their amazing designs. Initially, they will be sorted by recent, so you can see what they've been up to. You can also switch to reactions, so you can see what their most popular creations are. Of, of course, friends, if it's one of my designs, there is likely a tutorial in the description, and the reactions are always appreciated. Friends, as I close out this video, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories up above, and then down below, you can find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and finally, the Tinkercad essentials. Also, in the corner, friends, you can find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion to reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. 
HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.